Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make stuffed cabbage rolls. This comfort food is made all around the world in different ways, using different meats and different kinds of sauce. For the filling, you can use whatever ground meat you like, beef, pork, chicken, or turkey. If you're using chicken or turkey, make sure it has enough fat. Don't use very lean meat, otherwise the filling will be dry. This recipe has a few parts and is definitely not a weeknight dinner. It's best to make these when you have time and are not rushed. The cabbage has to be cooked and prepped, the rice has to be cooked, onion sauteed, and meat mixed and rolled. To save time, I like to do the many parts together. Usually I show you all the prepared ingredients first, but for this recipe, it's more practical to show you the order I cook all the different parts in. The recipe link with all the ingredients and measurements is in the description section below. First, put on a pot of water to boil the cabbage. Another pot of water to cook the rice, so they'll be ready about the same time. We'll need a medium to large head of cabbage. The standard green cabbage or savoy cabbage is fine. Take the loose leaves off. Cut the core off. Take a small knife and go around the core as best as you can. This will make it easier to take the leaves off after boiling. I'll wash the cabbage and the extra leaves. Add salt. Put the cabbage into the boiling water. Now I'll add more water so the cabbage is covered as much as possible. It's best to put less water in at first, otherwise you'll have to scoop out boiling water and it may spill all over your stove. If you have a large cabbage, trim more of the bottom so it'll fit in your pot. I'm just gonna turn the cabbage once in a while so it's wilted evenly. Put the dark green leaves in that we took off earlier. You can see this leaf is coming off already. It does need to be softer, so we'll leave it in. Simmer for about 10 minutes. Use a deep pot if you have one so you can cover it. Otherwise, leave it open like this and turn the cabbage over once in a while. The water for the rice has come to a boil. A little salt. I've rinsed this long grain white rice. Add that in and give it a stir. Cook for eight minutes. You see the cabbage is wilting and some of the leaves are separating. Let that continue cooking. In the meantime, cut up an onion and mince a few cloves of garlic. Back to the cabbage. Take these leaves out, they're soft. Put them on a sheet tray. My eight minute timer is up and the rice is ready. I'll strain it and leave it to cool. Now we have space to heat up a pan for the onions. A standard stove top has four burners, but three pots will rarely fit at the same time. So I'm showing you the most efficient way to cook everything. Add a little oil and butter. Now the onions. Cook for a few minutes until soft. Then add the garlic. Few more minutes until golden. That looks good. Remove from the pan to cool. Take the head of cabbage out with a strainer. It is heavy. Leave that on the sheet tray until it's cool enough to handle. Gently remove the leaves. Don't worry if they tear a little. We can always patch them with another leaf. Cut around the core so the leaves come off easily. When you get to a certain point, it'll be hard to get the leaves off. That's when you know to put the cabbage back in the water and simmer for a few more minutes. Now we can prep the meat mixture and sauce, which are the fastest parts. For the very easy sauce, we need canned tomato sauce, brown sugar, fresh lemon juice and Worcestershire sauce, ground black pepper, and salt. Whisk it all up and that's it for the sauce. For the meat mixture, chop some flat leaf parsley. For the seasoning, salt, ground black pepper, paprika, and celery seed. 
If you can't get celery seed, it's fine, just leave it out. Put your ground meat in a large bowl, add the spices, sauteed onion and garlic, rice and parsley. Mix it all up with your hands. Add a little tomato sauce and mix well. Our meat mixture is ready. Get the rest of the leaves off the cabbage, count them up. You should have about 14 for this recipe. It is best to have a few extra in case your cabbage is small. Mine was a medium to large cabbage and 14 was perfect. You'll have the middle part left with small leaves, which you can slice and put on the bottom of the cooking pot. To cook the cabbage rolls on the stove top, use a heavy pot like this. To bake it in the oven, use a 9 by 13 cake pan or casserole dish. Before we start rolling, shave the rib end off each leaf. This will help it stay flat and easier to roll. If the rib is really tough, you can make a V-cut and remove it. Take each leaf and put a scoop of meat on the bottom third of the leaf. I like to use an ice cream scoop to distribute the meat. Roll up, tuck the sides in and keep rolling. Try and roll it as tight as possible. This is a large leaf and I'm removing the rib end. I'll put one scoop of meat and a little extra. Now, if you want all the rolls to be the same size, Trim a piece off the end of the larger leaves like this and they'll look more uniform. This leaf is torn, but we can still use it. After rolling it, if there are any tears showing, use another leaf to wrap it. I didn't need to use the second leaf because the first one was pretty big and covered all the tears. 14 rolls are done and ready to cook. I'll use the pot and make it on the stovetop. Line the bottom of the pot with a few of the remaining cabbage leaves. Pour a quarter of the sauce and spread it. Put the cabbage rolls in seam side down, however many fit in a single layer. Add some more sauce and the rest of the rolls. Pour the remaining sauce all over the rolls. Cover with a few more leaves. Put the lid on. Heat it on medium for a few minutes until you hear the sauce boiling. It should take less than five minutes. Then turn the heat down to low and cook for two hours. You should be able to hear the sauce simmering while it's cooking. If you don't hear anything, turn the heat up slightly. If you'd rather bake it in the oven, do the same layering, cover the baking pan and cook for one and a half hours at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. After two hours, Check and see if the cabbage rolls are tender. You may need to cook for 15 or 30 minutes longer. The cabbage should be soft. My rolls were perfect after two hours. This sauce is a little sweet, a little tangy, with the right amount of spices. And I prefer it on the thinner side. If you want to reduce the sauce to get it thicker, take the rolls out first and leave the sauce in the pot on medium heat for a few minutes. Another way to serve the sauce is to whisk in sour cream. It'll be pink, creamy and smooth. These rolls freeze well, so you can make a lot at one time and serve them when you want. When you have some time, I hope you'll try this recipe. It is completely worth the effort. To get notifications when I upload a new video, click on the bell icon and select all. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.